the Ukrainian studios run fast like Sonic. Hey guys, I'm Andy from Cranium Studios. Welcome to another VFX tutorial. Today on this video, we'll be doing the Sonic Super Speed effect and we'll be using Movavi Video Editor. Don't forget to subscribe, smash that bell icon close to that subscribe button and also leave a like. So I'll be leaving the download pack in the description box below where you can go download the effect we use for this tutorial. Hey. So guys, what you'll be needing for this tutorial is just your actor running like Sonic and your empty shirt so after getting those two let's head right into mobile video editor and do the simple effect and don't forget to check the description box below to get the effect pack and it's free so let's head into mobile video editor hey guys now we are on mobile video editor and i've dragged my videos to my media bin and i'll just bring them down to the video layer and expand it so you guys can see the videos well so your editing will be faster so um this is just a preview of how my video is my empty shot and a shot of my actor so after that i'll just drag in my png file and i made this with photoshop and i added motion blur to it if you guys want a tutorial about how i did that you can just leave that in the comment box below so we'll just add an, our animation to the png file and adjust the animation to go well the smaller your anim animation the faster your effect so let's just try this distance and see how it goes let's check out the preview of it and that's slow it's very slow let's just move our animation back a little and nice that's okay for me and after doing that i'll spread that okay let me drag that a little so that it'll be more faster yes this is very very nice so um after doing that go back to our media bin we will add in our sound effect and all this the sound effect and the green screen smoke asset i use i'll leave them in the description box below where you can download it so drag your dust effect to the top of your video and i'll just cut a little bit from the beginning of the smoke effect and adjust that to my video and drag that to the uh, let me see the end um, it's okay yes it's okay like this yep so i'll just key out my green double click go to settings chroma key and key out the green if you do not see your dust you just go increase the opacity and play with your key your transparency and other stuff so after doing that uh dust pack is black so we'll just go on color adjustment do some adjustment to our color to our, sorry to our dust and let's see how it goes um this will take a while so let's just do this because our, our smoke needs to be well arranged and it's going fine uh increase reduce the brightness a little let's just increase the brightness and leave it like that so after doing that um we'll go adjust our smoke to fit in our video properly just drag that down um, let's check out the preview and see if our smoke is well aligned with the video now we have to adjust that smoke once more let's just bring it down increase it bring it down so it will suit our video properly so after doing that we just go and get our aspect ratio bar and that also will be in the description box below where you can download it and we'll bring that to the top of our comp and align it to our video and let's check out the preview how our video is aha uh -huh. our video is almost done there's just some few things we we'll just add and we we'll just add our color filter i use this whistler color filter i held my control button and adjust them to my videos so after doing that i'll just add my camera shake just click on that star button to make some adjustment to our camera shake our camera shake should be like 10 percent so it will be much 
in our video so it will look choppy so our video is done and thank you guys for watching this simple tutorial if you like this video don't forget to subscribe smash the bell icon and check out my latest tutorials